good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Sorry, I I get in and then I get out and start again because when I get in, it immediately said a uh, recording in progress, supposedly. Hmm. But this time, it didn't say that. And if it didn't say that, I am not recording. So... I had to make sure, and the thing is that the Zoom gets unupdated, but it seems that it moves the things, and I cannot meet, I cannot uh, get in as I always do. But we are here now. Thank God I always get in in advance <laughs> it gives it gives me time to to perform any change that i had to do and how was your day mm, very busy very busy nice <laughs> hi reina how was hi. your day is it too? Hello? How was your day? Um, good. Nice. And how, Sophia? How was your day? Hi, teacher. Uh, I'm fine. How are you? Much better than yesterday. And your mom? She is fine. Thank you. Okay. But, uh, give me a second. Tía, sí, estoy en clases. Eh, te voy a pasar a mi mamá. Te voy a pasar a mi mamá. Bye. Eh, I'm coming back, okay? I have to... Give my mother's my cell phone. I'm back. Okay. That's technology is just a tool in terms of getting the kids working together and motivating them. The teacher is the most important. Okay. I hope it is true. <laughs> Espero que sea verdad. Que to motivate the students the teacher is the most important. Well, uh, that's why the teachers are still important in virtual teaching, because you have all the, all the information you require in the platform in order to study, but uh, you also have uh, these classes at least once a day uh, or one hour a day in order to see if you are doing well if you have any doubts okay uh, the the technology cannot replace the human being yet okay uh, remember that we were studying quantifiers from zero known to 100% all, okay? Now repeat after me. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one? No, no one, one gets before the age of 
No one gets married before the age of 18. No, no one, one gets married before the age of 18. Not many couples have more than one kid. Or what Not time? many couples have well, many many more, more than one child. Many families are smaller these days. Many families, many, many families, are families are small these days. All families have only one child. All families oh, have my only my one family child. 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 Okay. Now we have to go to the knowledge check. Okay. With the following sentences, select the response with the quantifier closest in meaning. Okay, in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. Okay, which of these is closest in meaning with the quantifier? A lot of. Okay, a lot of. In China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. Okay, because few is less than 50. And all is 100%. So the other one should be. Now, uh, Elizabeth del Carmen, read number two, please. Um. In Australia, 87% of married couples have ch children. Have children, okay. Sofia Castaneda, which is the answer? Uh, in Australia, uh, son Mary? Um, or nearly is 87%. In Australia, nearly all married couples. Nearly, nearly all, nearly all married have children. couples have children. Okay. Now, uh, 0%. Now, um, Kevin Daniel, could you read number three, please? Okay. In the United States, 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. Uh huh. And the correct, um, no one in the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, Jessica Castro, number four. Thirty-five percent of the people in Germany live alone. Okay. A few people in Germany live alone. Okay. Now, uh, Monica Marisol. Oh, you have problems with the audio. Don't worry. Don't worry. You have problems with the audio. Uh, Doris, Jasmine? Yes, teacher. Number five, please. Okay. Uh, most American high school students have jobs okay but uh, read read the numero yeah 78% 78% uh -huh. oh sorry uh, 78% of american 
high school students have jobs. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see. 35% of people. Well, maybe it has to be some. Let's see. Teacher, no le quito el chequecito a una, le va a salir mala. Como no lo quité. Tiene los dos chequecitos. No, corazón, lo quité, mire. Ah, <laughs> Okay, correct. Okay, here instead of a few is some. For me, 35 is, is a few for me. But they say no, okay. Now, uh, Two volunteers, one read number, uh, the number, the numeral and the other give the answer. Complete, please. Okay. Kevin, Daniel, read the numeral and, and the name. Okay, okay. Um, in China, uh, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. Okay. In China, a lot of women. Oh, okay, okay. No, you read just the numeral and the other volunteer read the, the, the answer. Okay. It was a girl, but I didn't read the name. Okay. Who was the In volunteer? China. Me. Okay, go ahead. In China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other two volunteers? Other two volunteers? Okay, Sofia and Rafa. Sofia, read the numeral and Rafa, the answer. In Australia, 18.7% uh, of married couples have children. Okay, now Rafa. Um, in Australia, nearly all, all of married couples have the children. Okay, couples have children. Couple have children. Okay, you add a D here. You have to read what is there. No less, no more, okay? Now, uh, other two volunteers. Jessica and Hello, another volunteer. Well, then Sandra Noemi. Jessica read the numeral and Sandra Noemi the answer, please. Okay, in the United States, Zero percent of the people vote before the age of 18. Okay, thank you. Sandra Noemi. Hola. In, okay. in the United States, no one vote before the before the age the age of uh, 18. 18. Okay, thank you very much. Now, in Miami, let in Natalie Patricia. Hello. Okay. The numeral. The... the numeral. 35. Okay. 
35% of the people in Germany live alone. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Some people in Germany live alone. Okay, live alone, live alone. Live alone. Okay, thank you. Now... Jancy, Andrea, and Carmen Lisette. Jancy, the numeral, and Carmen, the answer. Uh, Jancy, Andrea, Melendez, Mayen. Well, Carmen, are you there? Please read the numero. Five. The numero. 78%. 78% of American high school students have jobs. Excellent. Most, Thank you. Uh, well, read, read the answer. Okay. Most American high school students have jobs. Okay, thank you very much. And then you see 33 over 33. Okay. Now we finish this and we continue with the other next. But let's go to the presentation. Can you see the PPT? Yes. Yes. Okay, now read the objective, please. Lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will read an article about families, about their changes. And their changes, okay. Now, uh, I will read it first and then we all will repeat and then each of you will read. So follow the reading, please. The Changing Family. Read the title of the article, then check. The question you think the article will answer. Why do women work outside the home? What happens when both parents work? Okay, the changing family. What do you think it is going to be about the reading? Why do women work outside the world or what happens when both parents work? Could be any of, of it, okay. It depends on how you how you uh, or I I think it could be both. Why do women work outside the home, and what happens when both parents work? I guess that it could be both. What do you think? Have you read it? Ya lo leyeron? Yes. And which one do you think is the best answer? Both, no? Because uh, it says why people, why both parents have to work outside. And what happened with, when this? Both parents. Okay, now, American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children, Josh, 12, Ben, nine, and Emily, six. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, 
Jerry is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Jerry likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Now that Jody is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Jody loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Emily is having a great time in her afternoon after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after-school program right now. He's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. George is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. Okay, let's see, uh, Ben, Josh, and Emily. Okay, Josh is the oldest, he's 12. Ben is nine and Emily is six. So, okay, now, uh, repeat after me, the changing family. The changing family. Read the title of the article, then check. Read the title of the article. Then check. Then check. The question you think the article will answer. Question you think the article will answer. Why do women work outside the home? Why, Why do women work outside, outside the home? The home? What happens when both parents work? What, what happens, happens when both parents, parents, parents work? Well, I guess that is more likely that is the second question. What happens when both parents work? Okay, now, American families are changing. American families, American families are changing. Families are changing. Are changing. One important change. One, one important, change, important change, change is that most married women now work outside the home. Is that most is married that women most married now married work outside the home? Work outside the home. The home. What happens when both parents work? What, what happens, happens when both parents work? work? Read about the Morales family. Read about, about the Morales, Morales, family. Morales family. family. Judy and Steve Morales. Judy and Steve Judy Morales. And Steve Morales. Morales. Have three children. Have three, children. Have three children. Josh, Josh, Josh 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, Steve is a computer programmer. Steve is a computer programmer. programmer. This year, Jody is working again as a hospital administrator. This year, this year Judy is, is working a again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money. The family, the family needs, needs the money. money. And Jody likes her job. Everything is going well, 
Everything is going well. Is going well. But there are also some problems. But there are, but also, there are also, problems. also problems. Some, some problems. problems. Now that Judy is working. Now that Judy is working. Now that Judy is working. working. Steve has to help her more with the housework. Steve, Steve has to help her, to her, help her more, more with, with the, the housework. housework. He doesn't enjoy it. He doesn't enjoy it. He doesn't, he doesn't, doesn't enjoy, enjoy it. Jody loves her work. Jody no, loves her work. Loves her work. Her work. But she feels too tired and busy. But she feels too tired, tired and busy. She also worries about the children. She also worries about the children. Jody has to work on Saturdays. Jody has to work on Saturday. So Steve and Jody don't have a lot of free time together. So Steve and Jody don't have a lot of free time together. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. Emily is having a great time after her program. When Jerry comes to pick her up. When Jerry comes to pick her up. She doesn't want to leave. She doesn't want to leave. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, Ben's school, Ben's ben school doesn't have an after school program. Doesn't have, have an after school program. Right now. Right, right now. now. He is spending most afternoons. He is spending months afternoon in front of the TV. In front of the TV. Josh is enjoying his new freedom. Josh is enjoying his new freedom. After school. After school. He's playing his music louder. He's playing, he's playing his he's music loud and spending more time on the phone. And he's spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household shorts. He's doing a few household shorts. Okay, shorts. now we will go to answer the reading exercise, okay? Now, we already have read this. And now, which children are benefiting from Judy working? Emily and Josh. And then Emily and Josh. Yeah. Okay. Which child is not benefiting from Judy working? Teacher. Yes. Is Josh. Ben. Ah, Josh. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Thank you. Okay. Which family member is enjoying more freedom? Josh. Ben. Josh. Josh. Which family members? Are doing more housework. Steven and Josh. Steven and Josh. Steven and Josh. Okay. Uh, which family member feels too busy? Judy. 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 Okay, now let's see. 
Okay, correct. You are amazing. <laughs> now. Yes, because you I only I only type what you dictate to me. Now, Rafael, read the question and the answer. Which children are benefit from Judy working? Emily and Josh. Thank you. Now, Reina Lemus, number two. Which shield is not benefit from Judy working? Ben. Thank you. Now, which child? Okay, when you say uh, this is child and the other is children. Okay, child and children. Okay, they change the eye. Okay. Now, uh, Sofia Castaneda, number three. Which family member is enjoying more freedom? Josh. Thank you. Now, Sara Maria, number four. Family members are doing more housework. Steve okay. and Joe. Excellent, thank you. Now, Jancy Andrea. Okay, which family members feels too busy? Jody. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, do you have your uh, platform open? If you can open it, it's much better. We are going to read the, we are going to read the exam. <laughs> Okay, and since for tomorrow, sometimes the people come late. We are going to listen to, to have the listening today. Okay, if you come tomorrow late, you already have listened it. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now. But I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes, I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow, how long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. <laughs> That's for sure. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No, my two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay, now no comments right now. Tomorrow we will be checking it. 
we are only listening and reading, okay? Now, do you have any doubts about what you have to do here? ¿Tienen dudas sobre lo que deben hacer aquí? No. Este, les estoy enseñando eh, el examen, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Yes, teacher. Sí. Ok, now. Then no doubts, let's get to the other one. Now, what do you have to do here? You have to complete the conversation. These are uh, small dialogues. Okay, complete the sentences with do, does, or good. Okay, you like to see a movie tonight? Sure, what time does it start? Okay, remember that it's inviting. You have to decide which of these words are you going to use here. Don't say it now till tomorrow. You have the day you have today to finish it and we will be checking tomorrow night. Okay, you like horror movies? No, not really. Okay. Which word do you think you have to use here? You have to write it here, okay? Remember that when you are starting a, a sentence or a question, you have to put it in capital letters. Okay, now Kevin, help me with number three. What kind of music? your friend Ricardo like? Rock and classical, I think. Okay, thank you very much. Now, do you have any pro any doubts of what, what you have to do here? No? You have to type, okay? Remember that if it's at the start of the sentence or the question, you have to write it with capital letter. And if it's in the middle of a question or a sentence, you have to write it all in small letters, okay? Now, number two, complete the following conversations. Use the present continuous of the verbs. Now, remember, how do we do uh, the present continuous or the, the present Participle or gerum from study. How do you do the present participle? The present participle or present or gerum is not the same as present continuous. Okay? Present continuous, remember that you have to write an auxiliary okay, which is the verb to be, plus the gerund. So now I am asking you, what is the gerund for study? Studying. Okay, just add ing, okay? Now, work. 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 Working. Working, just add Working. ing. Wait. Waiting. Wait. Waiting. Waiting, okay? Now come. Come. Coming. 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 What happened with the Coming. E? Coming. Less E. Plus. We drop, we drop the E and add ING. Okay. Now. Any doubt about what you have to do here? Remember, for the present continuous, you have to write the verb to be. In, press, in simple present that uh, you have to use for, uh, for the is in the age, okay? Now, 
uh, remember that it, it, it depends on what a uh, what person you are using for example for first person singular is i am i am okay for second person singular you are you, you are, are. Uh -huh. for uh -huh. third person singular he, he or she he is she is she it is. is okay for first person plural we are are second person plural you you are you are and third person plural they they are okay plus the verb in juron to make the present continuous Okay, and then we, do you have any doubts about what you have to do here? No? Okay, go on. Now, um, in my amulet, could you read number one, please? J does um J does don't say the the, the answer okay. Okay. every J morning before breakfast J does every morning before breakfast okay thank you now este Natalie Patricia number two please <laughs> Natalie Patricia. Okay. Este, how often do you go swimming in the summer? Don't say the answer. <laughs> okay, ya, ya le dieron copia, ni modo. Eh, thank you. Now, eh, Sandra Noemi, number three. Um, I saw my things play. Uh -huh. With my? With my friends. Okay. Here, remember that you have to choose which of these is the best answer. Okay. Any doubts? No doubts? No doubts. No. Okay. Go on. Read the article, then check the correct answers. Okay. Audrey Toto. Okay. Audrey Toto is a young French actress. She has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. 1978, Audrey is born in Beaumont, France. 1980s and 1990s, Audrey acts in plays, especially comedies in high school. After that, she goes to acting school. She wins the prize Best Newcomer for her acting on French TV 1999, that is 23 years ago. Okay, 2000 to 2002. Audrey acts in many movies, including Voyou Voyeur, 2000. Then she plays a young woman called Amélie in a movie of the same name. Amelie is in French, but the film is a big international hit. Audrey becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. Audrey also acts in a film called God is Great, 
I'm not. 2002. 2003. Audrey has a big year. She acts in the Spanish apartment and he loves me. He loves me not. She also acts in dirty, pretty things. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. Okay, that's Audrey. She looks cute. Okay, now you have here some uh, highlands and you have two shoes, okay? Now, for example, um, Carmen said, read number one, please. Just number one. In, in high school, Audrey, to act, to to act. Okay. Then you have uh, these three things to choose. You have to choose one of them. Okay. Uh, it plays. No, you don't have to 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 say. Okay. Tomorrow <laughs> you will tell me tomorrow, not today. Okay. <laughs> now, um. Doris Chacon, number two. Yes, teacher. Number two. Um, uh, many Americans like the movie Amelie. <laughs> Don't give the answers oh, until tomorrow. <laughs> Ahora no me van a dar las respuestas hasta mañana. Okay. Number three, Yancy Andrea. I see. Okay. Audrey. Uh -huh. Audrey. Audrey. Audrey acts in three movies. Three. Three movies. Three movies. Okay. No, not three. Three is three. árbol. Entonces, Three. 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 No, no, three. Three. I say three. <laughs> así, de, mm, así sacándome la lengua. Three. three. <laughs> Better. Okay. Audrey acts in three movies in two. You don't have to say it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Kevin. Number four. In, in her movies, Andrew usually speaks. Okay, don't have to say it. Okay. Now, uh, what time is it? Okay, we still have time. Do you want to make the reading with me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, now. Teacher. Ah. We miss this one. Wait. We haven't done the the that you have to read number. Sorry. Okay. Hi. Okay. We haven't done this. You have to read it yourself. Okay, we missed that. Okay, I will start and then I will say who continues and then you read until the first period. It's the primer punto. Okay, and then you call someone else to continue the reading. So you have to be reading, all of you following the reading because you don't know who will be calling you to continue reading. And you have to go to continue immediately after your partner calls, okay? Entendieron? 
Yes. Voy a empezar a leer y voy a decir quién va a seguir leyendo. Después usted lee hasta el primer punto. Cuando mira un punto, ahí se detiene y llama a alguien más para que continúe leyendo. ¿Ok? Now, the changing family. Read the title of the article, then check the questions. You think the article will answer. Ok, now, Sara María. Why, why do women work outside the home? What happened when both parents work? Okay, now call somebody to continue. Continue. No, llame a alguien ah, para que continue. Okay. Okay. Quiero ver los nombres. <laughs> Mm. Yancy Andrea. Okay. Okay. American families are changed. One important change no, is the... until the first period. You already find the period. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Call somebody. Don't worry, you okay. will read it again. Rafael Cruz. Rafa. Okay. One important one important change it does most marry woman new work no new work now size now work now work inside the home outside outside the home outside the home okay call someone to continue Daniel. Okay, Daniel. Why me? <laughs> and oh. what happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. And okay. Continue, Monica Marisol. Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Josh. Ben Nye and Emily Six. Okay. Um, Sofia Castaneda. Thank you. Steve is a computer programmer. And Natalie Patricia. Natalie. Hola, gracias, perdón. <laughs> This year, Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. Okay. Mm, uh, mm, mm, ay, no sé. Carmen Lisset Santiana. Okay, the family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Continue, Dari Jasmine. Thank you. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Thank you. Sara María. Uh, me distraje, ¿qué tal? Judy. Judy love her work. No, now that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, perdón. Not that Judy is working. Es She has to help her more quiet with the with, with the house the, more with the housework. Okay, now can continue. 
Um, de que quiero ver. Ya le digo. En Miami, let. Thank you. Hello. What are we? Sorry. No, no. Uh huh. I don't. Perdón, me distraje, no sé cuál iba a leer. This one. Judy Love. Okay. Judy Love? No, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't enjoy it. Okay, now you, you ask who continues. Um, Sandra Noemi. Thank you. And you love and work. But she feels too tired and busy. Too tired and busy. Too tired and busy. Busy. Yes, busy. Okay, thank you. Now who continues? Sara Maria. Thank you. Um, Permítame que no lo logro ver. Esto es para. Eh, sería. She. She asks words about the children. Thank you. ¿Cómo se pronuncia esta? Que no la pude. No, no sé. Muy she bien also bien. worries about. Also, also. Worries. Worries about. Worries about. Uh -huh. The children. Ok. Ok, hoy quiero ver, continúa Mónica, no, Sandra no de mí. Sandra acaba de pasar, creo. Ah, pero, quiero ver, bueno, Mónica Marisol, entonces. Thank you. Ok. You didn't es que no lo veo work aquí. on Saturday, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time, so it's there. Together, free time yeah. together, together. Yeah. Okay. okay. Call okay. someone else. Teacher, Jan together, together, si juntos. Sí. Si. Okay. Okay. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. Okay. Who continues? Si mm -hmm. Doris, no sé si ya pasó. Thank you. Uh, Emily is having a great she, time. She already read it. When Judy comes. I'm sorry. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Thank you. Call who continues. Eh, Sofía Castaneda. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Okay. And Kevin Daniel. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Thank you. Who continues? And Emma Jamilet. Thank you. Emma. Okay. Josh is enjoying. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. Okay. Who continues? Um, Kevin Daniel. El ya acaba de pasar. <ríe> okay. Rafael Cruz. Mire, hoy, hoy ha sido el más popular el pobre Rafa. <ríe> <ríe> es el primero que me aparece. <ríe> Rafa, es que casi no, se se no se ven todos. Ok, I'm okay. sorry. Ok. 
he is playing his music a lot and spending more time on the the phones. Okay, on the phone. Okay, he termino, is, he's playing his he's music louder and spending more time on the phone. Now, who continues? He's also doing a few householding chores. Household chores. Household, Household chores. Okay, thank you. Me agrada que Rafa siempre está ahí dispuesto a continuar. <ríe> ok. Miren, nos salió cabalito. Ahorita ya son las nueve para ustedes, las diez para mí. Now, tomorrow we will be checking, we already finished uh, section five and we have only the final test. But I also have uh, like uh, some information to reinforce with you, okay? We, we will have another class, but this will be out of the platform just to reinforce things with you and to practice, okay? So see you tomorrow. I hope that you finish the, the test and you can give me copy tomorrow because you are the ones who give me copy, okay? Now, take care, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye.